two-way tables. So two-way tables show us data based on two categorical variables. And let's have a look at an example. And first we'll draw up a table. So it starts off with a table where we can input four things. Where Each of these things are going to have a heading, each of the columns and each of the rows are also going to have a heading. Each row is going to have a total, each column will have a total as well, and then there'll be a grand total over here. So what are we going to look at? We're going to look at left-handed people, so if they're left-handed, or if they're right-handed. So notice that these, these two categories have to encapsulate everything. So left and right-handed people cover, cover all scenarios. And we're going to look at male and female. And again, these two things cover all scenarios. So let's have a look at what kind of data we're gonna, we've got here. So we're going to throw in 4, 29, 8, and 51. So what, is, what do these numbers mean? So what does this 4 mean? This 4 means that we have 4 males that are left-handed. This 29 means we have 29 males that are right-handed. This 8 means we have 8 females that are left-handed. And the 51 means we have 51 females that are right-handed. So where they match up with their titles tells us what they are. Now, we can get our, our totals. So we put those on each, on each, at the end of each row and column. So 4 plus 29 is going to give us... 33, 8 and 51 is going to give us 59, 4 and 8 is going to give us 12, and 29 and 51 is going to give us 80. Then 12 plus 80 is going to give us 92, and if we've done it correctly, 33 plus 59 also gives us 92. So let's go ahead and answer a few questions. So the first question we want to look at is how many are male or left-handed? How many are male or left-handed? So we're going male or left-handed. So to work out how many are male or left-handed, what we can do is we can take the total males and the total left-handed. So we can say there's 33 males in total, and there's 12 left-handeds in total. But what happens there is that we're counting the males that are left-handed twice, because we've got 4 plus 29 is 33, and 4 plus 8 is 12. So we've counted that 4 twice. So what we want to do is just subtract off that 4, and this will give us the total that a male or left-handed, which is going to be 41. Next question. What's the probability that someone is randomly selected is a left-handed female? So they want to be left-handed female. What's the probability that they're a left-handed female? So we just have to work out how many left-handed females there are. So left-handed female, we know there's eight of them. And all we do have to do is put that over the total number of people, which is 92, and this will simplify to 2 out of 23. All right, next question. We want the probability that we have a right-handed student, a right-handed student, so they're right-handed, um, given that they are male and actually write this with a bar like this so given that they're male so we're 
after right-handed given that they're male. Now, if we know, if we know that they're male, we know that we only have 33 to pick from because there's 33 males and how many of those are right-handed? That's 29 because we're only interested in the right-handed males because we know we're only picking from males and we get the 29 on 33. What about, what's the probability that a female is selected given that they are right-handed? So again, if we know they're right-handed, we're only picking from the right-handed people, which are, there's 80 in total, and the probability of picking a female, well, we know there's 51 right-handed females, and we get our final answer of 51 out of 80.